Good morning. I wanted to sit here and read this morning while I drank my coffee, but then I had to finish something up quick for therapy this morning. And then I like opened TikTok to post a TikTok and I saw like a long video of a clip of, uh, I think the opener for the Great British Baking, uh, the Great British Bake Off musical. And I was like, ah, oh, this is the first song I've seen from it. And then I was doing more research. And then I was like, I could go to London on spring break and see it. And then I was like, are there any other songs out from the cast recording? And then there were just one. And then I listened to that. And I was like, oh, my God, that is so good. And then I was on Instagram. And then I saw an ad for or like a casting notice for a reality TV show called International Love. Girl. I will be applying to that later. Um, however, it's now like 9.10. I have therapy at 10. But I have decided to eat breakfast and take my medicine before I go to therapy. Normally, I've been taking my medicine around 10.30ish. But I'll be in therapy at that time. So I'm going to make breakfast and take my medicine before therapy. And considering I have to leave in like 30 minutes-ish for therapy, I need to do that now. Brain planning, good. Uh, there is a huge chance that I am going to be late or just barely there on time. I am wearing a new pair of leggings, which means they're not as stretched out, which means they hug every single inch of my stomach area. And I had on a crop top sweater and I was like, I do not feel good about this today. So then I had to change. Would I have changed more times than I did? Probably, but I knew that I did not have the time for it. So I grabbed my Scanlon t-shirt, put on my like really ripped light denim. I was like, all right, this is just what we're gonna have to go with currently because there ain't no time for nothing else. Let me in, let me in. Three minutes to spare, who was worried? Not me. Also, neither, neither of the elevators have the weird wall thing anymore, so. Return, done. I went to Michael's, did a return, went to Walmart, got groceries, and I went into Walmart. And I am just like very overstimulated today. Everything felt so tight on my body, which made me feel so big. And also just like, everything was everywhere on me. So, as soon as I got home, I like threw my groceries on like a cart, put the cart up here because I just couldn't deal with like anything. Got home, literally took off like everything I was wearing basically. And I'm now just in like shorts, t-shirt and a bra, uh, but very much less overstimulated now. My bangs are really bothering me because they're so long I need to get them cut, but now I don't know if I'm gonna have time to get them cut today. I like don't wanna go on a walk because of like everything. But I know if I don't go on a walk, I'm going to be sad. But also, I need to leave at like 3, 30, 3, 40 to like go to Zach because we're going to go to the push to tower. It's 12, 30 right now. I don't know. I am just like, I'm a mess right now. Also, like I'm really itchy and I feel like I'm like breaking out and I don't know what from what, which is great. Love that for me. And I just realized that one of the reasons I did like going into Walmart rather than doing a Walmart pickup order is because I wanted to look for like little Valentine's cards and flowers for John and Casey tonight for the show. And I just realized I didn't do either of those things because I was so overwhelmed. <laughs> see, you can see the little like breaking out. Why? I am going to try some vanilla ice cream. As an update for everybody, I have put on pants again. I put on different pants that are not as tight because apparently that is not the vibe for today. What is the vibe for today is it's two o'clock. Zach and I have moved up our plans to three o'clock. So I am not going to be going on a walk today and I need to be okay with that. I made it to Zach's alive. Look at that nonsense. A car is approaching. That is the most don't drop your phone. Don't drop your phone. <laughs> you really said. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Bloop. Look at that. I'm getting gutsier by the second. How dare it.
I'm like trying to take footage for. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> we live here. <laughs> Hi. I live about it. I am finally home. What a day. What a day. The city was so fucking beautiful. I'm so glad me and Zach went to the tower. Like, gorgeous, absolutely. Then we went to the Nicolette Diner for supper. Loved it. Then we went and saw John and Casey's show. Amazing. Loved it. It was actually really good. So, I say that like I didn't. I expected it to be good, but I'm a harsh critic. Uh, but, what an amazing day. I can do hard things, which is something that my therapist said that I should say to myself. I can do hard things. And I can do hard things. Good morning. So I'm going to John and Casey's later, and I'll be doing laundry, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm making coffee, and I'm not going to put in my meal prep yet, but let me walk away from the coffee maker and tell you what I am meal prepping today. Chicken! <laughs> I am going to reintroduce chicken this week, so I am making chicken for lunch every day, and chicken rice, rice aroni chicken flavored. I think that'll be a good test. The vanilla test was like fine. Uh, I had like muffins with vanilla, and then yesterday I had like vanilla ice cream. It's hard to test vanilla, like just like by itself. Like I'm gonna go to I think this gluten free bakery today, maybe. And they usually have a gluten-free vegan thing. And it has vanilla in it, though. But I'm going to get that and see what's up. So I bought this book online, and I got it used because it was cheaper. And it's a library. Like, it used to be in a library. So, like, the front is, like, laminated, and it's got all the stickers on it. That's weird. The last episode of Doctor Who. I am sad. I don't know about the regeneration. <laughs> JK, I cannot have this rice because it has wheat in it. Why do you do this to me? All right, current course of action. Film my elimination diet, my elimination diet conclusion like ending. Film my reintroduction uh, opener. And then like a little bit about vanilla maybe. Um, and then cut up my chicken, put it in the fridge, put on real people pants and then go to the bookstore, get a coffee, see if I can sell those books to them, and go from there. So I pulled up to the bookstore, and there's a lot of people out here, a lot of people barked, and just as I was pulling into this road, somebody was pulling out. And I am so lucky that everything always works out for me. So I was there for a long time. I don't know if I like miss them saying my name or not, because like I was sitting down for a long time, and then, uh, like, I was like, I'm gonna get a walk around, check it out. And then I saw, like, my bag and, like, my name and my gift card sitting there. So, I don't know if I just missed it or not, but it's fine. I was, like, captioning, or, sure, captioning some TikToks. So, whatever. I just got an email that my Target pickup order is ready. <laughs> Look at that. Everything always works out for me. I'm so lucky. Going on a walk, and I feel like my coat, I'm gonna be too warm. But I know the second I don't bring it. I'm gonna be too damn cold. Oof, good thing I brought my sunglasses. So we went and got our yak tops and then really just did like a full costume change. So far, this ensemble is fine. However, I didn't grab a mask. So if my face gets cold, there's no help in that. Oh, cute, cute. Beautiful. I've never gone this way. Should I go this way? Let's find out. Okay, so that way, honestly, just takes you to Target. Plus it takes you out by the road, which, you know, it connects with the normal way anyway, but I don't go on these walks for the mileage. I go on these walks for the trees and the sun. So we're just gonna make a little loop-to-loop -loop and go the normal way. We're gonna take a pit stop at my car to grab a mask. We're actually just gonna run inside quick and use the bathroom because we really have to pee, but we don't want to be done yet. Hello, I don't like this hat on me. I was looking for a different hat, but I don't think I like this hat. I'm feeling a little like shaky, and that usually means I need food. So I'm eating some carrots. I turn around and they're just fucking big ass turkeys. What the fuck? What the fuck? 
My guys, that's literally the way I was about to go. Why do you do this to me? Also, you left your friend behind somewhere. I don't know where he is, but you left him. They went that way. So they did not continue on my path. They're still too close for comfort, if I'm honest. <laughs> okay, Dr. Spoiler as well. The hand is up. <laughs> Graham just came back in this episode, and I freaked the freak out. I was like, Graham, hand. I love Graham so much. I love Graham so much. I love him so much. Graham, don't die. I love you so fucking much. <sighs> I only have 25 minutes left. Oh, I just finished You know, three seasons per, like, doctor is, like, a good, is good. The doctor, I think, needs at least three seasons. First season, you're like, this is not the last doctor. I don't like them. They're not the last doctor. And then by the time you get to the second season slash the second season, you're like, okay, 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 okay. And then the third season, you're like, I'm here. I'm with it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And then they take you away again. And I can't believe I'm finally actually caught up. Also, spoiler, still the hand is gone. Tending it to David Tennant at the end. I knew it was going to happen. But like, oh God, that was brilliant. That was like, that was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. And Graham, <laughs> the turkeys have chosen me. Hi, turkeys. No, come back. Hi turkeys, come back. You've chosen me, turkeys. So I saw a show on Minnesota Playlist that needs auditions and auditions are like in Uptown, which is not that far from me. So that seems like reasonable. I don't know if like rehearsals would be there, but that seems like reasonable to me. So I think I'm gonna audition. I need a comedic monologue. So I went to my little play section and I pulled out a few plays that I think could have a comedic monologue in it. But let me just show you what they all have in common. Play number one. Play number two. Play number three. Why? Why are they all pink? I am not going to John and Casey's anymore because somebody in their cast had strep and so Casey wasn't feeling well. Which means I need to get up and go do my laundry. Played some Animal Crossing because I haven't played Animal Crossing in over a month. Wahoo! Potatoes, baby. I'm laying here in bed and I just realized that since I didn't go to John and Casey's house today, my car is still parked outside, which is fine. I can park it outside and it's not supposed to be like snowy or like weather bad tonight. <laughs> it's going to be cold in the morning. It's usually warm in the morning. So I just set an, a part of my, like a thing on my calendar in the morning to alert me at 6.40 a.m. that my car is outside. Because I will fucking forget. Because it's like in my, when I'm in bed, no knowledge is retained here. In this bed, no knowledge is retained. So fucking hell. <laughs> my car is still fucking outside. I know it's sad. I did remember that my car was outside. Also, it is gorgeous out. And the birds are chirping so much this morning. I'm in love. So shortly after I got home, John and Casey got here. We went on a quick walk and then we came inside and we watched the last four episodes of The Legends of Vox Machina on Amazon Prime. I have had gunk in my throat all day. And when I say gunk, like it feels like acid reflux. Like it feels like it's like acting up today. But I feel like everything I try doesn't work. And it's a little bit better right now, which is great because earlier, like, I couldn't even talk without feeling like I had shit just, like, in my throat. However, I didn't have any of the foods on the list yesterday. And, like, I reintroduced vanilla, right? But I had vanilla on Saturday. I didn't have any yesterday. It started, like, right when I woke up this morning. Like, I woke up with it this morning. And then I introduced chicken at lunch. But I was having the crap before I had chicken. I woke up with it. And I've been having like some like tight pain-ishness in my stomach in the spot where I get flare-ups. That's really worrisome. I don't feel very good right now. I feel kind of cold. This gunk is like finally doing a little bit better, but fucking, fucking hell. 
but I don't want to lay down because laying down makes it worse. But I am not doing so hot right now. I feel like shit. So I stayed home today. I woke up still with this shit. I'm cold. I need to go get a sweater. It's like 10 o'clock. I'm tired of feeling sick. And missing work. I mean, I'm not tired of missing work, to be honest, but... I'm tired of using my PTO days to miss work for being sick. It's raining. That's pretty neat. My friend Zach gave me a little profile on his HBO. So guess what that means? We're gonna go watch Doctor Who from the beginning. Because why not? I made a design. Doctor Who. I'm literally just standing here in the door, watching the rain and Doctor Who. I want something like this, so I'm gonna make this, but I don't wanna figure out how to replace the eggs, so I'm just gonna do the whole soda pop trick. Can of soda, box of cake mix, you got yourself a cake. I watched six episodes of Doctor Who today. And now it's 6.30 and I should take the last pill of the sinus infection medication and eat some food. I don't feel good still. I really don't. I'll have to see how I sleep. I just don't think I'll be going to work tomorrow. And then I'm like, I'm gonna be out of PTO days. Like, done Fuck. good morning i stayed home sick again today talking is hard like i kind of have a sore throat but i'm having a lot of drainage right now when i woke up and like now so who knows what that's about i have a covid test that i'm gonna take just to check like i don't i don't trust myself doing these tests so if it's negative i might try and go and get like an actual test but we'll see. Fun facts for the world. My pants are really like loose today. So I was like, do I just be like losing weight or something? And I usually don't, I only weigh myself on the weekends. Um, Cause I don't want to get too like focused on it, right? But I was curious to weigh myself. And I'm like two pounds lighter than I was on the weekend. <laughs> Whether that's because I took a lot of walks this weekend or I just, like picked up food here and there yesterday I don't know but that's that I'm gonna watch Love Island this morning I think and I'm gonna show you the outside because it's gloomy but pretty I'm gonna come over here well that's not much better is it gloomy but pretty well I am now all caught up on Love Island so there's that it looks like it's really warm out but it's actually not it's actually pretty cold it does feel like spring though but cold spring. Tea, my last slice of pizza, and Doctor Who. I wanna go for a walk, but I think the sun is deceptive. It's 24 degrees out, and my phone says it feels like 11 degrees. I don't know if it's gonna make me feel worse or better, but I kinda wanna go on a walk. We're gonna at least go outside, if not on a full walk. It might be too icy for even my yak tracks, boys. That's pretty icy. Considering it rained all day yesterday and then froze, I don't know if I trust it. We made it down the hill. Look at all that water. How beautiful. How beautiful. Let's go big. Get the sun in there. Yo, it's like all water over there. This is like the off-roading path. Let's go see it. I see. Kind of, but we've got yak tracks, baby. Look at that. They're flooding the teeth peach. The water is like moving over there. Do you see? Look at the beautiful ducks. You can't see it. That green is just bright. I'm being chosen. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, we have yet to discover. 
hopefully it's a good thing. Your face is just so pretty, my guy. Huh. I stopped in the desk too long, we got cold. See, it is water. I've walked out there and it is water. What? The rest of this is basically just ice. I wasn't gonna walk the whole thing anyway, so I think I'll turn around now. I was out there for like 20 minutes, walked like 0.6 of a mile. I'm tired and I'm cold. I still think it was a good decision though. The turkeys are back. Turkey, turkey. So much wildlife today. I don't know if I fucked it up by going outside and my ears kind of hurt. My COVID test was negative this morning, but I don't know. This kind of feels like when I had COVID. Feel strengthening and feel empowering. I was feeling better earlier and now I just feel like absolute crap again. My throat hurts more now. My ear is still hurting. I'm very cold. I just feel like trash. My fever is back up again. Now it's like... 98.8 I think is what it was, which for normal people is normal. My normal temperature sits around 96.5, so really it's two degrees higher than it normally is. Love that for me. Why does this always fucking happen to me? My temperature was last 99.4. My ears hurt, my throat hurts. It's nine o'clock, I'm gonna go to bed. Probably not going to work tomorrow. I emailed my like supervisor, whatever, and I was like, hey, took an at-home call for test today, came back negative, however, I felt worse as the day went on and my temperature is rising again, so it's likely I won't be in tomorrow, however, I will email you in the morning and let you know. I scheduled a in-person COVID test, because I don't trust myself. We're feeling great today. So I got an Instacart order with some bread, chips, orange juice, popsicles, etc. So I went to get a COVID test. It was like at this minute clinic in a CVS. And the COVID test came back negative, which is good. And then she wanted to do a strep test, just like rule it out. She didn't think I have strep, but just in case, because it's going around and like my symptoms aren't necessarily not strep symptoms. But I had a panic attack. <laughs> um... I have a really bad gag reflex, and anytime anybody's ever tried to do a throat swab on me, it does not go well. And then I was too anxious, and she was like, okay, like, if it still hurts in a few, or, like, if you're still having symptoms in a few days, come back, because it's probably strep then. <sighs> so, there's that. I'm going to warm up this vegetable broth and put some noodles in it and make, like, a soup. So, I just, like, really want, like, cinnamon sugar something right now i don't know why but i'm like cinnamon toast crunch churro something like give it to me but i cannot because wheat so i'm going to make toast of the gluten-free variety and butter it up and put some cinnamon and sugar on that shit because i want that so bad right now also my nose has started running a lot more so i'm thinking it's a cold john just brought me lotion kleenexes and this medicine stuff. I want to hear what my voice sounds like on camera. I'm home again, obviously. According to my phone, it's only seven degrees out, but I can hear birds chirping and the sun is so bright. That's exciting. So I have a pickup order at Target that I need to go get. It's got more Kleenexes and Dayquil and NyQuil. And I think I got something else, but I don't remember. I think it's just a cold, like a really bad cold. My like, throat kind of hurts, but not like a lot. It's worse when I talk, honestly. My head feels like very heavy, but light at the same time. Also, just Kleenex. Know, nobody's gonna stop you Those things. Those things. things. P for A. Right. We hit one million. Yes! One million. That's amazing. That's amazing. One million. That's amazing. What one million. Oh, that's so I don't know why, I just really wanted to watch, like, a British renovation show. 
I'm pretty sure I've already seen this, but, like, I don't even care. I'm just, like, so upset right now because I don't live in London. Not even London, England. I just, I'm so upset that I don't live in England. I need to stop that. I've never even been to England. I want to live in England too, way too much for somebody who has never been to England. <laughs> Why do I want to live there so bad? <laughs> uh, it's just calling to me. I feel pitiful. Look at my nose. When did I take that day quill? Is it time to take day quill again? It just looks so cozy in here right now. I kind of want to crawl in my bed and go on the TV here, but I also don't want to. <laughs> they did not mean that way, Hank. It's almost 7 o'clock. When did it get to be almost 7 o'clock? I don't know what to eat. Just playing oh, trivia with the Super Carla Brothers on the P4A stream. Guest on this one. Got it right. I did not win. So I just got like an email saying that I had a package come in, and I was like, what? Why do I have a package? And then it said it was from building management. And I was like, what does that mean? And then I got a message on Instagram from my apartment manager being like, I'm sneaky. I left something in like the package room for you. It was super discounted, just so you know. And I was like, oh, thanks. It's a little squishy, mellow. <laughs> oh, my God. I love it so much. I am just so lucky that everything always works out for me. <laughs> I love so much. Oh, thank you. It's only 10 o'clock, but I'm going to say goodnight. This vlog has just been me being sick, which is great. I love it. Love it for me. Love it for you. Um, I just took NyQuil, so hopefully that will conk me out. I don't know if I've ever actually taken NyQuil, so who knows. I have gone through two of these clinics boxes since John brought them to me last night at like seven o'clock which is great love that these are the lotion ones and then you know today i got the lotion plus fix ones which are good but sometimes it's like too much my nose is so red and it hurts so bad but it's like so like what i do for that since i was a child is put vaseline on it but i can't put vaseline on my nose unless i'm not gonna blow it for like a good chunk of time because if I put Vaseline on my nose and then like five minutes later I need to blow my nose it's just worse because I'm like tearing it off and it's just worse so hopefully this NyQuil will assist in the runny nose and then I can put Vaseline on it because it is so raw so chapped Every time I'm homesick, I'm like, I just want to watch movies. And you know what I didn't do at all? Watch a movie. I don't ever watch movies. Hopefully next week I'm feeling better. Hey. <laughs> and uh, that's all. I will see you guys next week. Bye.